Approximately one third of a person's life is spent sleeping. Every other species sleep whenever they feel tired, but somehow we are the only ones who push way past that in favor of the latest seasons on Netflix. It's a huge part of our lives. We look forward to it at the end of every day, and we see it as a way to recharge and re-energize. We spend tons of money trying to find the perfect mattress, sheets, and pillow combination. But there's still so much that we don't know about this part of our lives. What's the deal with dreaming? What happens to our bodies when we sleep? And why does everyone need different amounts? We might not be able to answer these questions, but scientists have made some progress in sleep research. Let's start with the basics. What happens to your body when you sleep and why do we need it? Sleep is a very important time for our body and mind to rest, recharge and revisit memories. Physically, sleep allows our bodies to grow muscle, repair tissues and regulate hormones. If we keep pushing our bodies for too long without letting it rest, then injuries and imbalances are likely to happen. If we don't give our body a break, we become weaker and more prone to problems. Now, most of the benefits to sleep occur in the brain. During the day, we live new experiences, create new connections and new memories. When we sleep, our brain is given time to process all this new information and determine what is important to keep. At night, our mind is able to sift through the day and clear out what is irrelevant in the brain. This process, called consolidation, allows for new memories to be transferred from short-term to long-term status. Many studies have found that people perform better on memory tests after the appropriate amount of sleep. Without proper sleep, our memory and retention suffer. This is the primary reason why younger kids need more sleep than adults as they are constantly learning new information, acquiring language, and developing motor skills. Their bodies need to take the time for this information to become ingrained in their long-term memory storage. But it's not just the young who need it. We all need to sleep since bad things can happen when we don't get any rest. Scientists have found that when the body is sleep deprived, it reacts as it would to stress on high alert. When we lack sleep, our mental faculties suffer and our body does not have a chance to recover from the information and the stresses of the day. When the body reaches a certain stage of sleep deprivation, scientists have found that certain areas of the brain will shut off even if the person is still technically awake. This can make it harder to think and harder to focus since your body is quite literally half asleep. But what about too much sleep? Research is limited on this question, but it seems like any deviation from a regular sleep pattern can lead to negative effects. Pressing snooze multiple times in the morning and trying to squeeze in those few extra minutes can lead to a less productive and more lethargic day. By not sticking to a consistent sleep pattern, the body is thrown off its usual cycle, leading to feeling tired regardless of the number of hours you've slept. And when you're traveling, the combination of traveling, jet lag, and new experiences can make things quite difficult. Lots of people find that, as tired as they might be, the first night sleeping in a new location is not easy. We toss and turn and wake up just as tired as we were when we got into bed. Scientists are looking into this and think that this might be an evolutionary quality that we have carried till this very day. Historically, Humans were to be alert at all times for predators and other possible dangers. Moving to a new location led to new questions and more of the unknown. Today, we no longer need to worry about being hunted in the middle of the night. But internally, we are still wary of a new sleep environment. This is similar to many animals who have the ability to keep one hemisphere of their brains awake while sleeping. One common example is that of dolphins who still move and surfaces to breathe while fully asleep. Regardless of whether you're sleeping in a five-star resort or a tent in the woods, as a species, it is ingrained in us to study our surroundings before winding down and falling asleep. For those who are lucky enough to fall asleep in any situation without any real difficulty, there's also a lot to deal with once our eyes are shut. Dreams can range from a realistic everyday scenario to crazy made-up worlds. They can include people from your daily life or random people you see on the streets. While there are still lots of unanswered questions about dreaming, 
There are a few things which scientists do know. It is estimated that the average person will have between 3 and 6 dreams per night. However, close to 95% of the details are forgotten almost as soon as you wake up. Most dreams occur during the REM stage of sleep when the brain is very active. While it is not necessary to be in this stage, researchers have found that the areas of the brain that are very active during REM sleep allow for visual imagery and imagination. They have determined that a large percentage of vivid and clear dreams occur. I know we've all had those crazy dreams that don't seem realistic and seem completely random given our daily lives. From monsters to fairy tales to superhero powers, it is common for our dreams to also stray away from the realistic. Scientists and dream interpreters have many different ideas of what these can mean, but generally, it is thought that dreams do have some relevance and significance. One prediction is that dreams allow us to prepare for real-life scenarios. A study found that kids living in more war-torn and threatening places around the world will have a higher presence of threats in their dreams. Evolutionarily, this could be the human body running through simulations to prepare for the threats in real life. Dreams are very much influenced by our daily reality and the conditions under which we fall asleep. Freud, amongst other scientists, found a phenomena called day residue. This is the percentage of our daily experiences that are then incorporated into our dreams. Studies found that as high as 65 and 70% of dreams incorporate something from the previous day. However, these memories soon disappear and have less impact on our dreams as the days go by. But what about those dreams where a dragon is chasing you, or you're flying over the ocean, or you have x-ray and laser vision? These clearly aren't based on previous experiences and can't necessarily prepare us for a realistic scenario. So why do they happen? Dream interpretation is not an exact science. But there are lots of theories about what dreams can mean. Some common interpretations are that dreams in which you are being chased means you are running from something in your daily life. Dreams involving falling indicate anxiety and loss of control. Dreams about flying can mean freedom, liberation, and a desire to move on. But hey, even without all the prophetic implications behind them, the fact still is that your sleep is often the highlight at the end of a long day. It can be the most relaxing and easiest way to reset our mind and body. So if you're complaining that you aren't getting any, quit binging on Netflix and instead binge on some of them sweet Z's.